Coding Challenge, 14 of January. Beginners. Question number one. Am I old? I think we've reviewed that question like two or three times already. So we have a function, am I old? And we want to check whether the function returns true or false depending on our age. So if we are about a hundred years old, we are old. If not, we are still young. So, can we do that? If age is greater or equal than a hundred, then return yes, else return no. Will it work? Yes or no? No. No. Why not? Because you put the equal. Because of that? Yeah. Correct. What happens if we are hundred years old? It's going to be return yes. Correct. And if we are 100 years old, according to this uh, AI, we are still young, right? So, will it work? Yes. yes. Any penalty, any elegance issue? Uh, one, is it line six? Is what? On line six, semicolon. Semicolon, where? We need one. We need one, where do we need a semicolon? On line six, no. Okay, no, no, no. Do we need a semicolon here? No. 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 So because this is not an instruction. Okay, let's, let's have a look. Correct, correct. No elegance issues. But now, can we, can we prove that? Yep. Can we use a ternary operator? Yes. yes. Return. Return what? H uh, greater than 100. Yep. Uh, exclamation. Yep, exclamation. Uh, yes. No, no, sorry, question mark. Question mark. In this sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. That? Wait, no, 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 no. Ah, nice. So you correct, correct. That's the ternary operator. So that will work, right? Any question, Michael? No, we're good. Cool. I was easy, right? Let's let's see what you did. So copy use if else, which is absolutely fine. That break line, I believe, is not that necessary. So you can put the break line here. Not sure if you get any penalty on that. Probably not. Mm -hmm. But yeah. All right. So then Daniel, ternary operator, same as Ashley. Do we need the parentheses? No. Ashley. No. 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 So we don't need it. Right? It's okay. You can leave them. No, they are not necessary. All right. So Rafa. Also, you see, for example, if you compare Jeff and Poppy, they do the same thing. So you see, Jeff, the version is a bit more compact, right? Why? Because first of all, he moved the else block alongside the closing bracket, and then he left the opening curly bracket in the same line as well, right? Cool. And then Bala, that's interesting. Uh, Bala, are you still there? Maybe uh -huh. ah, okay, right. So. You can see, even though Bala's solution is correct, right, it's green, right, he got some penalty issues. Why? Because that uh, curly bracket should be closed here, on the left. Also here, I believe, yeah, so he put two uh, spaces, we should put one here, there is a tab, it should be an empty space, right? So we'll be working uh, on that bala to make sure that the, we don't get any, any penalty issues, okay? Cool, cheers. So then Mo, if else, look, Mo put an empty like here, interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So we would avoid doing that. We, should, we shouldn't put empty lines unless we have a bit good reason. So reach, again, the same thing. We don't need the parentheses, even though they don't hurt, so we can leave them if we want. And then Megan, same thing, parentheses. Michael, if else, all good. Uh, that's correct, Michael. However, remember to keep the curly brackets. You see, you put them here, mm. but on the if block, you don't have any curly brackets. So even though that's correct, in order to try to remember to keep them, right? Like, for example, like A something. Yeah, we know. Uh, yep. And then Jonan, interestingly Jonan, he put the parentheses around the entire expression. That's fine. Parentheses never hurt, so you, you can leave them, but you can get rid of them. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Kita ma terrain operator, natasa terrain operator. I think that's it. So question number two. Question number two. Floor. So we have a number, and we want to find the uh, closest integer below that number. So how do we do that? First, we have argument. Argument number. Argument number. Yeah, I think number is a good name because this is clearly a number, right? Return math floor. Return math floor. Math dot floor. Correct. And number. And that number. It's semicolon. And return what? Semicolon. 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 So that's it. Yeah. Any penalty issue? No. No. Correct. Perfect. So you can see, if you want to get the closest integer below the given number, simply use math.floor. Right? That's it. How can we get the closest integer above the given number? Second? Seal. Correct. Seal. Correct. You can do that, right? If you put on math.seal, what will you return on the first example? Eight. That's correct. And what if we want to get the closest integer, regarding if it's Regardless if it's above or below. Round. 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 Correct. What will it return on the first example? Seven. On the second one? Five. And on the third one? Five. 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 Why five and not four? Because it runs up or four five. Correct. Five. Correct. Five. correct. Correct. Right? That's correct. So the correct answer is as you already know. Floor. Any question? Michael? Good? Okay, cool. So let's review your solution. I, I believe everyone has written the same thing, right? Yeah. It's really very simple. Model floor, model floor, model floor, right? model floor. Oh, that's interesting, Michael. You see, it didn't work because you use round. You should use floor to get the one below, right? Yeah. Everyone doing the same thing. Cool. Question number three. How good a student am I? Hmm. So we have a nasty complex ternary operator, right? So if something do something, else do something, blah, blah, blah. And that, I believe that, that won't work, right? Oops, you didn't return anything, right? Interestingly, we got an error, syntax error, unexpected token. Number so why this doesn't work? Uh, it's supposed to be colon. Colon. Not semicolon. colon. Where? Where? Five. 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 Yeah. That's it. Correct. Correct. I understand this is a bit complicated to read, right? But let, let's try to understand that. So here, the way to read this is: if the first score is below 50 and the second score is below 50, return need to improve. Else, if the first score is below 50 and the second score is above 50, then return getting better. So that's wrong. Else, if the first score is above 50 and the second score is below 50, then return getting worse. And else, this is the default scenario, just return just also. So, so you mean why, why is it wrong? What is wrong? No, because you type one by one. Yes. Else. else, correct, yeah, yeah. because that colon means else. This is a ternary operator. So the training number four, I believe, on beginner is explicitly talks about how to use a ternary operator, right? right? In so this case, it means none of the above. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. So this else, so so Dave is correct. So that means none of the above. Oh, okay. Because that is the default, right? The default, right? So yeah, uh, if else, if else, if else, uh, will it work now? Yes. Any penalty? Uh, yes, tabs. Tabs? No. Line 7, line 8. Yeah. Line 7, line 8. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. So, Mo and Poppy, they are correct, right? So, every time you put a question mark, oops, that means that what comes next is Nifel's structure, right? So, please make sure you indent it. Just for the debility reason, right? Now it's a bit easier to read. If something, return something. Else, 
if something returns something. Else, you know, that's the same structure again again. To me, I personally feel this algorithm is wrong because it's too complicated to read. So in my opinion, the turn operator is good if you have something very simple, like am I old? Right? Above 100, below 100. Very simple, if else. But this, in my opinion, went beyond the boundaries of what, yeah? Um, what, what would you prefer to put this algorithm in? If else. So if I had to do that, I'll do that. If first, I will write that. I mean, if, even if it is a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's a bit longer, but to me this is way easier to read. Look, I'm, I'm repeating. Yeah, you see? It's much easier. Yeah. Else if that return getting better. Uh, else if something else. Return getting worse, and then else return just also. So you see, these two options are equivalent. The one on top is probably a bit longer, one or two lines, but to me it's, it's more natural, right? If something returns something else, if mm -hmm, return something else, else if mm -hmm, you see. It's easy, right? So that's why, please, don't don't keep in mind that the ternary operator is just less all the time. It's, it's way better if, if the structure is, is trivial, but if it gets more complicated, I don't see the value. I think... So just for one line? Say again? Just for one line? Yeah, one line is perfect, even two. I mean, there is no strict rules. That's up to you, right? Whatever you feel more readable. In that particular case, I clearly, I think we all agree, that this is clearly easier to read than that, right? Yeah. So regardless of something of the time of the time does not actually the best, right? What's sorry? It's kind of it's uh it's easier to read. Yes. It means if you're writing the modern yep. language, yep. you will get more score, for example, on challenge. But it will be like uh more difficult to read. That's correct. That's your correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. So sometimes things are not black or white. It, it depends, right? What I mean, who decides what is more readable? Sometimes it's a bit challenging, right? Uh, yeah. So and that that that's important. Well. That's literally the same thing. So, any question? No. So let's see what you did. I believe everyone. Uh, this is one way to do solve that, right? Remember, we had to get rid of the uh, semicolon. We had to replace the semicolon with a colon, right? So, and tabs. And what, sorry? And, and, and tabs, correct. So, so that, that's interesting. That, that's a good point, Daniel. Because here, we can yeah. see who paid attention to the elegance store, right? So, for example, Poppy did, I didn't. but Daniel didn't, right? That's what I also Yeah? But the thing is, if you get a penalty, the error is very obvious. It's like you. Wrong indentation on line number eight. So then you know that you need to add one tab here and there, right? And you see Ashley, Rafa, you see differences, right? And this is very easy to, 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 to solve, so it's worth to pay attention <coughs> to, to, to the problem. Interestingly, interestingly, Richard, he changed yes. So Richard changed the... Uh, yeah, so look, Richard, he moved the question marks and the columns and everything. He moved them to a new line. Hmm. Richard, do you get any penalty by doing that? No, I didn't. Hmm. I thought that was the right way. <laughs> no, that, that's not a common way. That's definitely a bit exotic. <laughs> I mean, it, no, that's fine, it works, right? It, it works. This is EA7. EA7, it's like EA7. No, that's fine. He has moved, you know. I'm jumping curves, you know. Yeah. <laughs> cool, thank you, Richard. Uh, yeah, so I think that's, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. So.
let's do not not no one did something radically wrong, right? So so that's fine. So they they he removed some indentation. Look here, right? So apparently you see getting better. It was on a new on a new tab. But he moved everything to the left, right? So this is to me even harder to read because I, I don't see the, the hierarchy, right? Compared they with Itamar. Yeah, I was in the last minute and uh, I was trying to tidy it up. Yeah, and it just closed yeah. up on me. Yeah, correct. But you got quiet, right? So you, you see that this is yeah. easy, better to read. Cool. Thank you, guys. Let's go to question number four. So question number four. <laughs> Display a friendly message if the element. How many times we review that one? Three, Why? Three, three times, times right? Okay, let's do that again, right? Because people keep struggling a bit with it. So, so we want to see if we can book, uh, if we can book a day for a meeting or for whatever, right? So the system, we know because of the system that we can book on if an available day is Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. But if it's Tuesday and or Thursday, we can't, right? So this is the list of available days. If we have Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, then we don't the first available one, Monday. So Tuesday, Friday, is Tuesday available? No. Is Friday available? Yes, return it. And if we don't have any available day, because Tuesday and Thursday are fully booked, then just return a message, sorry, no day is available. So how do we do that? Let. Yeah. Yep. 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 Are you willing to that for me? I don't want you to read that. I want you to think about that, Rafa. I know you can read. A day cannot be Monday and Wednesday and, fr and Friday, right? A day will be either or Monday or Wednesday or Friday. So day is Monday or day equal or yep. There's a semicolon, no? After Friday. That's correct. Here. No, after Friday. Right? After Friday. Here? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. Where? Here? No, no, line, line 7. Line 7. Seven. Line, after line, line 7. Correct. Correct. After return statement. Line 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 and then return um, available day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or the no sorry. Be before doing that, can we do an if else? Yeah. 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 If what? Available day. If available day. Yes. Yeah, so what else? Else? Else. 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 Sorry, not available. Return. Sorry, no days available. Right? Will this work? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Send it over here. End of line. Yeah. Uh, no, but on the third line. The here? Yeah. Correct. Anything else? Any penalty issue? Any problem? No? no. no? no. no. Good? Yeah. Let's try. That's correct. No problem at all, right? Do we need to put the Wednesday? Will it change if we... I think Dave, last last week, right? You did something like that. No, it's not at all. It won't make a difference because it's not in the info. But it's, it's more, that's more of a flip. That's, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. So, technically speaking, we don't need a Wednesday according to this data model. But because we want to create solid functions, we should put it, right? Because if tomorrow someone adds a new example here, talking about Wednesday, without the Wednesday here, it will fail. Mm -hmm. right. 
If it was a realistic scenario, and uh, we're looking into the n next month where yeah. they have weeks repeating, I mean days repeating themselves, so that, this that would be like a, a date on the side to identify the date, yeah. the closest one. Yeah, but that's probably for the intermediate. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how can we simplify this structure? Ternary operator here, guys. Yeah. So don't what? Available uh, day. Yeah. Question mark available day. Semi uh, colon text. Like that? Oh. Oh. Okay. It's a bit. It's a bit too long. It's a bit too long. So you. It's can a bit too long. Yes. Yeah, so Will we get any penalty here? Uh, yeah. it, you can't tell this over sixty-five characters or not. That's correct. You see, even though, so for example, this is what we discussed with Michael before. So that's correct, we can submit it, but we got a elegant, right? We can cut it as a semicolon. Right? Exactly, exactly. Say again? We can cut it as a semicolon. Yeah. Mm. No, no, sorry, the, the semicolon. Oh, no, the colon, the colon. The colon, yeah. So we can split that into a few lines, like that. Right? That's the same thing. Return. Condition, then return something else return something else right will this work yeah. Yeah. perfect any way to improve that a bit more yeah, so yeah. The, the, in, the inverse so there's three days available not available two days okay before doing yeah. that yeah. can we simplify the return statement yeah so we can do return yeah available day or yeah That's even simpler, right? Yeah. So that means this is an, an all operator. That means if we have an available day, return it. Otherwise, yeah. return that, right? Maybe then, is it what I did was took the available day function and put it into the return? Now, is that simple? Do you find that simple? Rather than saying let, yeah. I said return, available day, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. Or, here, oh, you know, days available. Inline. Yeah. So you put that return statement here. Oh, or just like didn't have a s didn't have separate let and separate let return. So so you put the return statement here. Yeah. Return. Return and then at the end or, or yeah. Yeah, that's correct. You can do that. But which ones like? Better? I think this is a bit harder to read. Yeah. Oh. It's a bit harder to read. But you can do that. You can do that. Right? You can return. Try to get the first available day. Otherwise. Uh, so that's shorter, but a bit harder to read to me. Yeah, yeah. I prefer to create a variable, and then once you have the variable, then do the final checks, right? So, will this work? Correct. And then Mo was suggesting to change that. How, how, how can we share differently? Now we are starting to try to find Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Ricardo, before you answer that question, yep. the previous line is that all, all, what's that called? Or operator, that technique. So this is yes. just an or expression. Okay. Yeah. Because you return something or something else. So how can we change that condition? How can we check? I want to find the first day that is not Tuesday and is not. Thursday. Uh, delete one, you go and put the well, next one. Wait a minute, I'm interested to see what Michael thinks now. And and. And and, correct. That's correct, but and and what, Michael? <laughs> so I want to see, I want to find a day that is not Tuesday and is not Thursday. Okay. If they so Michael, how do, we, how do we know if a day is, if a day is Tuesday? Yep, can we do that? So that will give me the first day, which is a Tuesday. But, and how do we negate the condition, the first day that is not Tuesday? Correct, we can do that. So here we say, please find the first day that is not Tuesday. But then you mention something interesting, and also I want to check the first day that is not Thursday. How do you do that, Michael? Can we do the same thing? Can we put the same thing here underneath, changing the date from Tuesday to Thursday? 
¿Con qué me da? So here you say, give me the first day, that is not Tuesday, and is not Thursday. So if, for instance, if you have a Monday, it will be returned, right? Because Monday is not Tuesday and is uh. not Thursday. Right? Would this work? Any elegance issue? No? No. Okay. That's correct. It works. That's easier. Um, easier. It's a bit simpler, right? Simpler. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. Michael? Yes. Yeah? Cool. So, what do you do here, guys? So, question number four. Poppy. So, Poppy... Uh, so, she's checking if it's Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, and then if else, right? So, this is the first thing, they do, right? So, that's fine. Then, uh, Daniel, he used the... Also, a very similar structure. Did Daniel get any penalty here? Probably he did, right? The random indentation, unexpected space here. So I think, uh, yeah, we, we tend to should try to do this kind of thing, right? If you want to split the condition across multiple lines, other parentheses, and then one condition per line. This is easier to, to, to follow, right? Uh, what else? You see, for example, Ashley. That's perfect. Yes, yes. That's literally perfect. You see? Return, open parentheses, day Monday, or day Wednesday, or day Friday, and then eventually return. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for Rafa. Literally same thing, right? Um, yeah. So, ah, okay. So he created a new function. So he's dividing the logic into two functions, which is also fine. I think, unfortunately, he got the penalty, right? On the max six 65 characters length, I, it looks like this line was very long. <laughs> Maybe. Right? Um, then, what else? So, Richard. You see, Richard, that's the last thing we did. So, he's taking day is not Tuesday, and day is not Thursday. Just remember to add another equals here, guys. Yeah. Right? This is, do you remember two equals versus triple equals? Double yeah. versus triple? We do a workshop about that. But for now, if you are asserting positively, have three equals. Mm -hmm. If you want to negate the condition, exclamation mark and true equals. So it will be another one, right? Can you do exclamation mark and three equals? I don't think so. No. 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 What difference does it make, like technically, per pop up? Exclamation mark equals between no. that and exclamation mark equals equals. That's the same thing. So yeah. we'll do a workshop. One, okay. we, this checks the equality of the expression. Okay. With another one, we check the identity of the expression. We'll, we'll learn what all the things mean. Um, Mo, look, uh, probably Mo, not sure you got the penalty here, but generally speaking, when you do that, the dot should go underneath. So you should put dot fine. Take a penalty for that. Yeah. Don't, don't think I did. You didn't take no. a penalty? Cool. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then Bala. So right, so that's well, that wasn't complete. So uh, that's interesting because it looks like Bala already tried to get the available day, and probably that was fine for the first two uh, examples. But on the last one, we had to build the uh, custom message, right? And then ACL she got some penalty here as well. Yeah. It's interesting because she did it right, so she created the parentheses and blah blah, but then there was an unexpected space. Right? I know it's just subtle details, but to me that helps to read the, the example, right? And also. We need to add a break line here, yeah. ASL, right? Because otherwise, it's just, it's just, you see, to me, I, I struggle to understand what you do here, right? Yes, because of indentation and break lines. And um, Megan, right? So, yeah, Megan again, she's checking the days, not Tuesday and Thursday. And I believe Megan, it could be on the living, not sure if Megan see the penalty or not on the, on the elegance because of the length line. Line length, not sure. So Jonan, that's what Jonan mentioned before, right? So if we see Jonan's solution, he did it inline, you see? So he did a return. Let's try to get the first available day. If I have it, I will return it. Otherwise, sorry, no day is available. 
that's fine, but again, indentation is wrong. Mm. I believe that all should go here or there, I'm not sure, but they're clearly not there, right? Okay. So that's why, even though you, you have to type less, it's to me a bit harder to, to read, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, yeah, I think I wasn't going back. Yeah. <coughs> but surely, sorry, going back to that. Yep. Doesn't that really like English before, but if you read it like yep. It is. The thing is, the logic is absolutely correct. Yeah. So what Jonathan did is, please try to get the first day that this Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Yeah. If if you found it, return it straight away. And that means, otherwise, if you didn't find any Monday or any Tuesday or any Wednesday or any Friday, then return the message. Yeah. I like it. It's so readable. Yeah. That's what okay. I found it. It's personal. This is there. I found it. I'm saying I just work. To me, looks really interesting. Yeah, post, exactly. But I mean, like during the business, is it uh, a way to do it or not? Or mm -hmm. you can do that. I mean, again, I, I did. I never said that was wrong. No, 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 no. I, I, I think that for some for some people like you, that will be more readable. I respect that. For others, it will be less readable. Mm -hmm. That's fine. The, the only thing we should clearly look after is indentation. That's mm -hmm. clearly wrong. Right? No, no, no opinions about that. That's mm -hmm. wrong. But apart from that, the style. If you like the style, you feel comfortable with that, then go for it. That's absolutely fine. Right? That's, that's why uh, one of the reasons why we do that is to learn different coding styles. Not necessarily better but or worse than you, just different, right? It's a good way to learn, I believe. So, Itamar, so for example, I think, yeah, again, indentation is, I struggle to read Itamar's code because here the day is not, tuesday, it's not Tuesday and in, in, the, in the new line, day is not Thursday, right? So, I personally prefer, so for example, what Richard did, you see? Because both conditions are in different lines. Day is not Tuesday and day is not Thursday. Right? Um, yeah. Cool. And finally, Natasha, same as Sita. Why is it exactly the same? <laughs> that's interesting, right? Was it just coincidence? No. Wait, is it that's wrong? No. No, it's not, it's not uh, no, no, it's not the same. Sorry, no, no, it's not the same. It's very really similar. Look, so Natasha, the red line here. But again, even though the solutions are the same, but to me they, they have to share the same problems, right? Oh. So, Natasha, you see, so you get the, this uh, condition in one line, and so that should be indented to the right, at least Itamar, he added the indentation. Yeah. Right? But let's try to avoid that. Let's, let's what about the backticks that she used? Does that make mm -hmm. uh, the point? Backticks, yeah, okay. well, that's a good point, guys. So, uh, backticks, some of you, Natasha. Natasha. Yeah. Correct, correct. So Natasha is using backticks here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine, no problem at all. It's just... Okay. It's fine. I mean, that's if you have to combine literals and variables, that, that's really good. In that case, I don't see any advantage of using backticks. So because, for example, why we use backticks here, but we don't use backticks here or there? Mm. Right? So for simplicity reasons, I guess... Use the same. Use the same, unless you have a good reason to change it. But yeah, if they have the same structure, template literal, template literal, simple quotes, then probably should use template literals uh, as a single quote as well. Yeah, I was thinking, I was saying, why, why not use everywhere the same? Yeah. Which, is yeah. which is good for all of them. Yeah. Would that be a good practice? or? Again, this or is a very subtle thing. You are not going to get any penalty by doing that. It's about simplicity, right? We tend to simplify things. And here we're introducing two template literal structures, simple quotes and backticks. In my opinion, it could be a bit unnecessary. And that's a bit subtle. You know, can you ever use control find in code? So say control like find. Like your control F, whatever. Mm. Like, say you were trying to find, yep. you pasted your code into a yep. word doc, and you're like, oh, right, I can find yep. certain yeah, things out You can find. But then it would be nice to only use back ticks when yep. it's. Because mm. then you're looking you can for the back tick. Yep, yep. Otherwise, you get 100 yep. back ticks. Yep. 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 yep, yep. That's a good point, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Last yeah. question, number five. <laughs> uh, that's interesting, right? So here we got uh, an example of some code that someone has written, which is supposed to work, so we don't need to add any logic. The code is there, right? But it doesn't work. It doesn't work, right? Why it doesn't work, guys? Uh, Miss and return, correct. Look at this function. Check average temperature. This is doing something. We don't care. We don't care, right? It's not the goal of the exercise to understand what's going on. But for sure, this returns nothing. 
Where is the return statement? There's no way. Because there is no return statement that will always return undefined. You didn't return anything, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So let's put a return statement. Will it work? No. no. Let's, let's see why. Same thing. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I use the return statement. It doesn't work. Why? Because of function, evaluate how good temperature is at the bottom. What's that function returning? Nothing. 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 Same problem, right? We have a function that is doing some tricks, but that function returns nothing. So what do we need to do? Return. Return. All right. Let's try again. Still wrong. Why? Again, you see, that it's the same problem again, again, again. We need to look on it. We need to check if every function returns something. So let's start from the top. Get rounded temperatures. Is this function returning anything? No. no. Return. Next function. Get average temperature. Is that function returning anything? No. 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 Let's put it. No. 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 no, no, no. Not here. No, Why not? Where? Not 93. 93. 23. 23. <laughs> Correct. Here we declare the variable, yeah. and then we do some operation on, on top of it, right? Yeah. And then, is, is the evaluate how the temperature is correct? Yeah. That looks correct to me as well. Mm -hmm. So, will it work now, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Yeah. Right. That was it, right? So the goal of this function is to remember that we should add return statements all the time. You have a function, please, at the end of the function, return something. You have a function, return something. The same thing again, again, and again. Right? You know what confused me a lot? If you go down the screen there, yep. having that extra return, does, does yep. reduce always be reduced? Sorry. Reduce. Ah, here. Does it always need a return? That's a good question. Is there a way to solve it without the return statement? That's correct. Because you remember, okay. we need return because we added curly braces. Okay. But if we remove the curly braces, it's gonna make, it one, make it one line. Making one line. Agree on that? Making one line. No. Like no, that. It's too long. It's too long. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yes. But then that should work. Yeah. That should work. That's interesting. I cannot check the right hand side of the. Because <laughs> I've been zooming this a bit. Uh, ah, that's it. Uh, will this work? No. no might be too long. We won't say too long. Okay, it may be too long. But ignoring the length of the line, technically speaking, that's correct. We agree with that? Yeah. Right? So that's correct. So then. Cool. Okay. It's definitely it's clearly in the limit of 65 characters. Mm. But no elegance issues. So that means that that's absolutely fine. Any question? No. Good. Cool. So what you did here, I believe everyone did the same thing again, right? It was just about, you know, adding return statements everywhere. I would be surprised if anyone clearly changed the structure, right? So return, 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 right? So I mean, yeah, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. The goal here was to, to note that we had to add return statements everywhere. Cool. I think that's pretty much it regarding beginners, guys. So, anything else? Yeah. Richard, Bala? No, thanks. No? Cool. So, that was it for today, guys. After lunch, we'll review the intermediate. Thank you for watching.